This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social and Association with Betfred. I'd like to be joined by Jake Paul here in London. Jake, promote a hat on today. Let's talk about it. We knew this is a huge fight. Turnout today has been incredible. How has the response been so far compared to your own expectations? Uh, exceeded expectations, you know, and, and rightfully so. This is a massive fight. My friends are, you know, texting me to save them tickets, and I'm like, nah, you got to go buy them at msg.com. Like, I'm not, I'm not giving you any freebies here. <laughs> You're supporting history, but this is a massive fight and it's blown me away with the the results so far. We've heard Amanda Serrano's story being one of the most underappreciated fighters in the world, one of the most underpaid fighters in the world. How much personal pride does it give you to see how far you've come together now and to be on this stage in the biggest female fight of all time? It's an honor. It's an honor. Like, it's an over, overwhelming sense of um, happiness, to be honest. And the fact that, you know, we make such a great team is is unique because she doesn't even have a cell phone meanwhile i'm like the social media guy but to see her finally get the payday that that she deserves um it means a lot to me and i know it means even more to her you know she's been just smiling ear to ear because she finally after 13 years as a pro is making real money you know you've been studying the game a lot um in terms of exciting matchups that can be made, not just in male or female boxing, in boxing in general, where does this matchup surely can only be an explosive fight April 30th? This matchup is top three in the world. You know, two pound for pound best going at it in their prime. It's historic. And I don't think there's a bigger fight in 2022 right now that's scheduled and this will be talked about in history forever. You fought on a, a matchroom show previously. I was there in Miami. You're now promoting alongside Eddie Hearn. What's it like doing business with Eddie? It's dope. It's dope, you know, and uh, I got my turtleneck on. I'm sort of copying his, his uh, promoter style because you, you can't be a good promoter without a turtleneck. Uh, but it's dope working alongside with him, and I think us together, we're, we're, we're pretty powerful with, with what we can accomplish, and we're showing that with the numbers. Just one more from me, Jake. We're all waiting to hear what's next for you and when you're going to be fighting. I know you're promoting at the minute. You're in the UK. Tommy Fury's always linked to you. KSI's always linked to you. What has to happen from these guys for you to get in the ring with one of them? For them to show up. <laughs> I'm ready, you know? I'm ready. Uh, but, you know, both of those fights have, I think, lost steam. And Tommy's just sort of only around and talked about because of me but he needs to go and get another fight under his belt, maybe fight Tyron Woodley, Um, but I'm just not really interested in it. And same thing with KSI. It's like, yo, we've been talking about this shit for years, and it's never never probably going to happen. Drake, Charlie, Boston, Fight Stars TV. First things first, thank you for coming down to London. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Shout out to London. Shout out to the UK fans. Shout out to the uh, fans here who... Um, like me and not KSI because apparently everyone here talks shit about KSI. I don't know. That's the rumor on the street. Can I ask what it was first about Amanda Serrano, uh, Serrano that made you realize that you know she was the first one for you and the reason that you wanted to go into the promotional side of boxing as well? I just saw a superstar who was like mistreated and needed a ton of support and help, and we've just hit it off since day one. You know, just how we both are as fighters and our our mindset so I know how she is inside the ring um, and how hard she works and I respect that about her and so it just made perfect sense and you know here we are you know creating one of the most historic fights ever so the the gamble the dice roll worked out the fact that the whole Clarissa Shields thing has sort of been squashed does that sort of show what you're doing for female boxing the fact that she's now realizing okay look we're gonna start getting paid more we're gonna start getting the attention that we deserve yeah no for sure you know and Again, that's why I think the beef is sort of squashed where I, I want to push women's boxing forward and well, whatever was said was said, but we can move past that. I want to ask you about working with Eddie Hearn. You did it like I asked you over there. Um, first time as a fighter on your professional debut. Now you stand with him as a promoter, turtleneck. He's a little yeah. bit taller than you, but you've got the yeah. younger side. How are you enjoying it? I, I like it. You know, it's a different art. Um, it, it's different to promote someone else's fight than than your own fight and it's been fun so far and I feel like I'm naturally good at it so I think you know I have I could have a career doing this if it's not boxing. 
There's two more from me. Maris Breedis, the IBF Cruiserweight Champion. I don't know if you've seen, but he actually got a tattoo calling you out and then did a rap freestyle. This is someone who's the Cruiserweight Champion in boxing. Does that sort of show that you the power that you hold in boxing? I guess so. You know, people, people begging me for fights, Tommy begging me for fights, uh, this guy, Mario, um, be begging me for fights. It was... Who's this, Marius? What? Marius. Marius? Yeah. I've seen the tattoo, but I just, I don't know who he is. But, I, you know, someone was like, a world champion got you tattooed. I was like, ah, uh, okay. Like, I, I don't know what he wants from me. But um, a lot of people calling me out constantly, and yeah, I'm, <laughs> I think it's funny. Drake, on a personal level for me, finally, uh, I'm 18 years old. I couldn't believe I'd get to this point. Uh, I'm here. What do you just recommend for me moving forward in the future, being in the public eye? That's dope, bro. Don't stop, you know, and don't let anyone tell you you can't do it and keep chasing your dreams. And it's going to be hard. Like, I don't know if you're actually ready because it's hard. This is not easy. And, you know, the, the more successful you get, the more work you're going to have to do. So ask yourself if you're ready for that. Jake, there's a huge UFC pay-per-view this weekend. I've never seen Dana do so little media before a pay-per-view. Have you run a little bit? Uh, I, I don't know. I guess he's, a, I guess he's scared. <laughs> I guess he's... I didn't even know there was a fight this weekend. Your friend Izzy's fighting. Who? Izzy. I just said he's fighting. Oh, he's, he is? Yeah, he's fighting uh, Whitaker. I, I guess it's because there hasn't been any really good promotion around it, right? Do you know, like, behind the scenes, have you heard, like, did Dana hear it? Do you know what his thoughts are? I, uh, I have not heard anything, to be honest, but um, I'm, I'm sure he can't be that happy. Like, when I was coming over here, I was listening to your old song, It's Every Day, Bro. Is there anyone you dissed in that song that's doing better than you right now? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe Sean Mendes, maybe? I don't think I dissed Mad Sean Mendes. Oh, he was not MadCon. Yeah, I mean, well, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. That's 2017 era. I, I, You know, there's a room for everyone to eat, but um, I, I definitely had a really good year last year, So, I, and I say that. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. has mentioned that an offer went out from you to him, would you, and he said he wants to go 50-50. Obviously, you would, it wouldn't quite be 50-50, you and him, but would you be willing to do that if it meant that the part you would be getting goes to the undercard fighters like you did with Woodley the first time? Yeah, I mean, we have to figure out the setup of it, but obviously he's making bold asks right off the jump. Uh, so, you know, but he's, he's a little cuckoo. I think everyone in the boxing industry knows that he's a little cuckoo. So... Um, We'll see. I want the fight, but, you know, it just, he, some people are saying he might not even show up. Last one for me, uh, Conor McGregor. Fans concerned about him at the moment. He said he's going to stop drinking. He said he's going to stop, but he keeps posting these videos in the Black Forge. Are, are you concerned about Conor? I don't give a shit about Conor. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I just want to fight him and smack him in the head. I guess in that sense, I do hope that he can win some fights so that we can eventually fight. But, like... The guy's a grown-ass man. He, he needs to figure out his life. But it, he seems to be falling apart, from what, I, from what I can tell. But obviously, everything's through a lens, and we don't know what he's going through, uh, actually. So, Would you recommend he stop drinking? Yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> it, that's, that's clearly one of his many problems. Um, and, and get in the gym and drink calcium because your bones are fucking breaking, man. Is, is that the plan? Why, why not um, Tommy Fury next? Everyone says you've come, you've disrupted the sport, you fought celebrities, you fought UFC fighters. A boxer would be next. The, the name says that you can't do that with freshman. Why not Tommy Fury? Has he missed his opportunity? Because uh, I can do whatever I want right now. Okay. Do, do, what, what do you say to the says that you come into this, you can't actually do it with a boxer? I, I suppose that's fuel, for, motivation for you. Yes and no. You know, the sometimes you know what we've seen is fighting these mma fighters is a bigger draw so you know i, I know i can beat these professional boxers i beat them in sparring so to me i don't really need to prove anything to anyone which is why i said i'll do whatever i want right now were you expecting that um that tommy would show up shannon Briggs style today and try to, to get at you uh i thought it'd be yeah i thought it'd be smart of him to do that but yeah, obviously to Dubai. yeah i don't know where, well like obviously um, he's not about that. Not about that life. Is it totally dead in the water?